Okay, so for the purposes of kind of showing you a drawing um, that I do of the system, I was going to step on board this system and I have some things to change for the symbols because this came out of Australia. So for the screw lift valve, I'm going to use a gate valve. The screw down non return valve is a check valve. Um, the C strainer inlet, in place of that, I'll have a C cock. So that's a ball valve, a non-check valve, and then the basket strainer coming in. For the pumps, I'm just going to show an impeller pump. What I want to point out is that we have three total pumps. We have our normal emergency pump, so that will be for the fire main. We have a general service pump, so that's going to pump our bilges. And then we have a non-dedicated fire pump. So this is just another extra fire pump that we have, or excuse me, another pump in there that we can use either for the fire system or the bilge system. And if we notice, we have our pickups from our fire main here, and we would come in, go this direction, around, and then go up to the fire hose. We could come in if we had to use the other fire pump through the um, port side inlet through here, and then come out and go up to the fire hose. We could come from the starboard inlet through the general service pump, or we could come up through the emergency pump, or we can come from the starboard and up through the non-dedicated fire pump. So we have multiple ways that we can um, use the firefighting system. If we were pumping out the bilges, so these come from the bilges, we would come in to the bilge main, go through this valve here and use the general pump, which then would allow us to pump it out the side. Okay, so we're just going to, I'm not going to, um, I'm just going to go through and kind of recreate this drawing um, in terms of if I was stepping on board and actually looking at the system and then I need to recreate the system. So for me, the first thing I want to do is I want to know what's on what side. So for that perspective, what I'm going to do is just take my um, straight edge and this is the center line. So I just want to get an idea of what's center line and what's not. So in cases of this, if we look this um, C inlet and the C inlet. One's on the um, starboard side, one's on the port side. So nothing is on the center line. So when I do my drawing, I want to make sure that I draw them on the starboard and the port side. Um, same with this pump is on the port side, this pump is on the port side forward, this pump is on the starboard side. So I want to make sure that I draw that. Um, this is going out of the hole, so I want to draw my lines to show going out of the hole. This is going up onto deck, this is going up onto deck, this is going on up onto deck, okay? And this is a deck hose. Um, so I definitely want to make sure that I'm going the correct direction with my piping, okay? All right. Now we can cross over, if we had to pump the bilges, we could cross over into the firefighting system. Um, and come through it if we needed to. If this pump was out, we could come through. Um, if we wanted to cross over, uh, we could come through here and over this way. So there's multiple ways that we can use this system. Um, just keep in mind that this is a piping going over this. It's not connected. Anything that um, has a T is connected. Okay, so it, it has common piping. All right, so if I was going to draw this, the first thing I want to do is I'm going to um, use, get my paper set up. And I wanted to just sort of take a look. Now I know that I have um, a pickup on starboard and I know that I have a pickup on um, port. So I'm just going to start here on the port side, draw my um, coming in, and you're going to do it nice and neat. So this is going to come in and I'll come in this way and then I'm going to have a little seacock. From here I'll have a check valve. Make sure you put your arrow and then I'll come up and I'll come into a basket. Okay, so that's just coming out and this will be the port fire inlet or fire through hole. Okay. 
All right, so if I'm looking at my sheet, then I know that I have coming off of here, I could go one valve and then the emergency pump, another valve, and then to the fire hose. So I'm gonna do that one um, first and let's see. So I'm gonna kind of do it this way. And coming out, I have one valve to go through. So in this case, I'm going to go through this valve here. That will be a gate valve. Then I'm going to go up and I'll have my pump. Okay. And then from there, I'm going to go up and I have another gate valve. All right, and then when I come out, I'll go again through another valve. In this case, this will be to the fire um, hose. So this is going to deck. Okay, so that goes up to the deck. Now I can, um, I can also use the non-dedicated fire pump, so I can show you that. So I'll come out this way and I'll go through a valve. All right, and as I go through that valve, and then I can go up and I come into the other pump. So this would be important to label your pump. So this is the emergency pump. Um, and this is the non-dedicated fire pump. Okay. <clears throat> and then when I come out through here, through this pump, I actually will tie straight into this piping. Okay. So then I'll only have the one valve going up to the deck. All right. So that is just that one side where I'm dealing with the firefighting system. We haven't really got to the bilge system, so I'll do that in just a second. But I want to make sure that we can see um, those different uh, scenarios. Now, our main um, action would be to come up through here, through this valve, through the emergency pump, and then up to the firefighting. But this is where this pump could be used if we needed to do a crossover or such, okay? So, so I have that um, side there. So now I'm gonna go over and I'm gonna kinda do the starboard side. So I'm just gonna move over a little bit here. And again, I've got to come through the hull, so I wanna make sure I show that. And we'll say starboard fire through hull. Again, I will come up and I'll have a ball valve. Okay. And then I want to come up and I'll have a check valve with my arrow and then a basket strainer. Okay. All right. So now that I have those, I'll kind of come back and take a look. And when I come out of here, what I can see is that just come and take a look here. This is the one I'm coming out of. So I'm going to first draw this to this pump and go out to the fire system. Then I'll come in and I'll connect the piping for these two inlets. Okay. So the first thing I will draw is when I come out of the sump, I'm going to come through one valve. I'm going to go this way just to kind of separate it. So I'll come through this valve. And then I come up. Oops. Let's try and, you know, it's going to be important to make it nice and neat. And I'm doing it freehand, but you want to make sure that you get your lines in there nice and neat. So your draft, you should really do your draft first, which is this is what I'm doing, my draft. And then you will do a cleaner version. So I'll come through that. I have one valve there. Then I come up to the pump. 
All right, and so I'm going through the pump, and then I have one valve to go up out to the fire hose. Okay, so this goes out to the fire hose. Okay, so now I have those two sides. Now these two um, C chests, they connect um, and they have a, dra a direct line. So what I want to do is just connect them. So what I'm going to do is um, I would they would come through here and I would just have a line that connects these. All right, so that means I could pull out of here and go up through this direction using the starboard sea chest. Okay. So now that I've done that. <clears throat>